Good morning. I am Pastor Mark McDaniel, and I am here with your weekly devotion. I would like to um, offer you a happy Holy Week. I know that um, we are quite excited for Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, but there are a few days we still need to go through. Tomorrow night we will be celebrating Monday, Thursday here at the church at 7 o'clock p.m., and then on Friday we will also be celebrating Good Friday, also 7 o'clock p.m., and you are invited to attend any of our services. Of course, we have service Easter Sunday Resurrection um, worship on Sunday at 10 o'clock a.m. The uh, title of our devotion this morning is New Blood, New Covenant, and it was written by Skip Heitzig. And here is Skip's story. Several years ago, I got a birthday card that had a little speaker attached to it. And when I opened it, it chirped out a song. It was sweet, but I eventually threw it away. Get this, though. When I did that, I threw away more computer power than what existed on Earth before the year 1950. Isn't that amazing? Technology is great, but it moves so quickly. You're never quite there. Now, if you look at the scriptures of the Old Testament, you have an incomplete system. Yes, God could be accessed through the shedding of blood, but it was never quite enough because sin was just covered over temporarily. It was like old spiritual technology. In Jeremiah 31, God said, The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. He anticipated that the old covenant would pass away and something new would come because it was needed. With this being the period leading up to Easter, I want to take a look at the days, hours, and moments before the crucifixion of Christ, specifically the Passover. The Jews already saw this night as a special night, but this time the land that the Old Testament anticipated would be the lamb that would once for all take away the sins of the world, and that would be Christ. Jesus and his disciples gathered together for the Passover supper, and Matthew 26 tells us, As they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup. And he gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. In the Passover supper, also known as the Seder, there is an order to the service of the meal. It basically revolves around four glasses of wine that are raised for commemoration purposes, all speaking of Jewish history. The first is the cup of blessing. The host welcomes his guests and offers the blessing in Hebrew. Blessed art thou, O Lord God, King of the universe, who gives us the fruit of the vine. Then the cup is taken among all of them. Second is the cup of judgment. The host tells the history of the Exodus and the judgment of God upon Pharaoh and the Egyptians. Then the host breaks bread and dips it in bitter herbs, speaking of the bitter bondage of the past, and in a paste that speaks of the mortar made by the slaves. Then the second cup is taken. After the meal is eaten, the cup of redemption is raised. And it was this third cup that Jesus raised and said, This is the cup of my blood, a new covenant that I'm making. At the very end of the meal is the fourth cup, the cup of praise and a, a hymn is sung. The Jewish people have done this all throughout history at every Passover meal around the world for thousands of years. But now Jesus Christ was transforming an ancient meal 
to have a different meaning. No longer did the Passover speak of the temporary physical bondage of Egypt being broken, but the permanent spiritual deliverance from sin through Jesus Christ's blood and broken body. This Easter, I want you to remember that you and I were once marked for death. We are told in Romans, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And also from Romans, The wages of sin is death. But because of the blood of Christ, because of the cross, God has passed over your life over the execution of judgment, because all that judgment was taken by Jesus himself. What a marvelous, marvelous truth. Rejoice in that today as we approach Resurrection Sunday. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we come before you and ask for your strength, a strength not of the world, but of your kingdom to refrain from judgment and feast on love, to push out greed and hold tight to joy, to dispel pride and rise with humility, to quell anger and rest in self-control, to shun greed and rest in giving, to turn from power and embrace service, to let go of resentment and rest in peace to push through fear and walk forwards in grace, to run with faith and soar with forgiveness, and to allow your eternal strength to abide with us always. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning. I will be back again next Wednesday with another devotion for you. Um, Reminder, again, we do have Monday, Thursday service here at the church tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock. Then on Friday evening, uh, we have our Good Friday service also at 7 o'clock. There is a men's breakfast that will be here in our fellowship hall on Saturday morning at 7 o'clock a.m. Uh, we would love to have you join us for that if you are able. And on Sunday morning at 7 o'clock a.m., I believe, we will be having an Easter sunrise service. We will hold it outside um, near the gazebo on 10th Street, if the weather permits. Uh, if not, we will hold that inside at the Fellowship Hall. Um, most of those will be available to you on um, YouTube, live-streamed. I believe the Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Sunday service will be the, um, the Easter sunrise service will not be um, streamed. If you have any questions, feel free to call the church office and or go to our Facebook page and you should be able to find the information you need there. Uh, as I said in our opening, um, I wish you a most blessed Holy Week as you prepare for the resurrection of Jesus Christ this Sunday. Until we see each other again, may God richly bless you. Goodbye.